Welcome back to Halo Ninja Warrior. So far in this tournament, we had all 50 competitors attempt stage 1, but it proved to be the most punishing first stage as only 4 competitors managed to clear. Despite all the great competitors, including Snozberries, Expose, Gotenks, and Buddy Jumps attempting the course, we now have the least amount of people ever moving on to stage 2 and the lowest ever percentage of stage 1 clears. The two biggest shocks came in the last episode when Gotenks timed out just seconds away from beating stage 1, and then when the grand champion Buddy Jump slid off of the rope climb right at the end of the first stage. While the stage proved to be nearly impenetrable, we still have four incredible jumpers left standing. Bradley Freakin was the first person to clear stage 1, and was then followed by Ump Double Ump, who was the only person in this tournament advancing to stage 2 for his first time. After that, we had a streak of 24 consecutive first stage failures, but Harnet Unit 751 took to the stage, and although the Warped Wall almost brought his run to an end, he pulled through and finally broke the streak of stage 1 failures. Then following Hunter was Alpha Puma, who also managed to reach the end of the first stage in time. Ump Double Up maintained the fastest time through stage 1 with 16.58 seconds left, and Hunter actually had the slowest time clearing with only 2.58 seconds. Now on stage 2 they have 6 more obstacles to complete. First is the Chain Reaction, then we have the Double Salmon Ladder. Next up is the Spider Walk, which is followed by the Swing Ladder from the last tournament. Then we have the Balance Tank and the Wall Lift, and they had to clear all of these obstacles within 75 seconds. Out of the four competitors left, two of them have beaten the stage before, and two of them have not. We have one regular, two veterans, and one Xbox 360 All-Star here to take on the first ever Halo 2 Anniversary second stage, so let's see the action on stage 2. The first competitor to go today, and the first ever person to go on Halo 2 Anniversary is Bradley Freakin. This is his fourth time on Halo Ninja Warrior, he's a veteran of this course, this is his third time on stage 2. He first made it here back in Tournament 10, when he failed the balance sink, and then he made it again in Tournament 11 when he had a miscalculation on the salmon ladder. And now here he is, on Stage 2 again. He wasn't here in Tournament 12, and now he's onto the salmon ladder. This is the obstacle that he failed last time. He actually beat the obstacle, but he tried a new technique where he was going to switch his controller layout after beating it. And uh, that betrayed him. He fell back down the salmon ladder. He's taking his time here. He's going slow and steady up the salmon ladder. It's, uh, it's good for beating the obstacle, not good for beating the stage, because you got to worry about that time limit. Looks like he's going to get up the salmon ladder, though. And he's up the salmon ladder, now into the spider walk. This obstacle uh, hasn't really taken out a lot of people in the past, so... Let's see if uh, he can do it. Now there's these two shields right here that will bounce you around if you're not careful. Uh, he gets bounced around a little, but he's good. Now onto the swing ladder. There is no sprinting in Halo 2 Anniversary, so therefore this obstacle might be a little bit more challenging. Then it was in Tournament 12. Bradley's hopping across many antennas right now. He's down to 15 seconds. You might want to hurry up and get this ball rolling if he wants to clear. It's going to take him a while. Come on, Bradley. You got to roll. The klaxon is sounding. You got to move now. He's swinging at the ball. The swinging with a sword doesn't do anything. You got to shoot it. Come on, Bradley. What are you doing? Oh, he's got a timeout. Oh, Bradley freaking is out of time on Stage 2. That's his third Stage 2 failure. That's unfortunate for Bradley. Well, he got it rolling now. Oh, unfortunately, it's too late. I even got the dismount. Oh, he's under the wall lift, and he's out of time. Well, I don't know what happened, and when he walked onto it, he just wasn't backing up enough. He kept walking forward on it, and that was preventing it from rolling. Eventually, he backed off and did get it rolling. But by the time he got it rolling, it was just too late. Unfortunately, Bradley Freakin will not be making it to stage 3. That is our first competitor down on stage 2. So let's see how our second competitor will handle the second stage. Arisen from an ancient jumping civilization, it is said that Ump Double Ump came to Halo to bring jumping skills to the world had never seen before. Ump was one of the top competitors on the original Spartan Warrior course as him and Re95 were the only ones to ever reach the third stage. He has even had a lot of success on Hunter's Ninja Warrior of Halo, but despite his success on the other courses, it is rumored that Ump formed a pact with the Anti-Jump, and that resulted in him being unable to complete any stage on an American Ryan jumping course. But now, on the Xbox One, it is clear that Ump Double Ump is once again capable of defeating any obstacle course regardless of who hosts it. This is his sixth time on Halo Ninja Warrior, but all of his five previous attempts saw him out on the first stage. His best performance before this tournament was Tournament 3 when he reached the Spinning Bridge. Aside from that run, all of his other performances ended at either the second or third obstacle of stage 1, 
But now Ump can finally get a shot at the second stage and we will see if the Ancient Jumping Legend is really worthy of the title. Ump double up his first time on stage two. The only competitor here taking on stage two for the first time. In the last tournament, he failed the curtain slider on stage one, only the second obstacle. Now he's on stage two on the chain reaction. And he's through the chain of reaction onto the salmon ladder. Bradley freaking took this obstacle pretty slow. Let's hope Ump goes a little bit quicker. He seems to be. Bradley stopped a lot here on this fourth ledge. I think he forgot there was an extra rung up above. Because now there are five rungs on the other side, or on the first side. Usually there was four. Now there's five. But uh, Ump is making short work of it. Look at him. He's up the salmon ladder. Now onto the spider walk. First column. Second column. Third column. Fourth column. And yes, he's through the spider walk. It's passed around a little bit, now onto the swing ladder. He still has 30 seconds left, plenty of time for Ump. Looks like he's gonna go across the top uh, poles of the swing ladder. Nicely done, Ump. Now he's onto the balance tank. Let's see if he can get it rolling. Wow, he gets it rolling immediately. Nicely done, Ump. That was good. All right, he's rolling it. He's rolling very smooth right now. Can he get the dismount? Yes, he's got the dismount. Ump, he's got 12 seconds left. Can he clear? He's under the first wall. He's going under the second wall. Still got six seconds left. It might be enough time. Come on, Ump. He's going. And yes, Ump has cleared stage two and will be advancing to stage three. Look at Ump double up on the salmon letter. He, he, he seems like he's done it a million times before. He got that transfer so clean. Hopped right across the top rungs of the swing ladder. Got that balance tank rolling very smoothly. That was almost the perfect run by Ump double up. Could have gone a bit faster. He's still cleared with three seconds left. And with that, Ump double up will be moving on to the third stage for his first time on stage two. Congratulations, Ump Double Ump. We will see you in episode four. Well, if Ump Double Ump can clear the stage, surely our next competitor has a better shot than anyone else. The next person to go is the only person who's been to stage two in every single Halo Ninja Warrior tournament. It looked like this tournament might have been the end of that. But luckily, Hunter was able to pull through and clear stage one. This is his 13th time on stage two. Looks like he's gonna do his intro. Oh, no, he's not. What? Hunter, what? You're not doing your intro. Oh, why are you swinging at me now? What is this? Come on, Hunter. Well, in a, a huge twist, Hunter didn't do his normal intro. Now 75 seconds on stage two. Let's see how he does. He just saw Ump Double Ump clear. And he knows that Ump Double Ump has been successful on his course, because this guy runs Ninja Warrior of Halo. Oh, what's he doing? All right, he just stopped at the end of the chain of reaction. I think he, uh, it seems he has banged his knee. Or he's hurt his leg in some fashion, and uh, it's affecting his controller holding abilities, apparently. But, oh, oh, what's he doing? Oh, oh, almost slipped up on the Sam ladder, but he recovered, now he's on the spider walk. His, uh, his noted friend of game types has felt this obstacle in the past. But looks like Hunter is through the spider walk, now onto the swing ladder. This is the obstacle. It took out a couple competitors in the last tournament. Pixel Project actually over jumped the dismount, but I think that's pretty hard to do here. Hunter almost did what Pixel did in the last tournament too, but he saved it. Now he's under the balance tank. This is where Bradley freaking couldn't get this thing rolling, but our other two competitors seem to be fine with it. And Hunter's up the balance tank. He's still got 16 seconds left. Plenty of time under the wall lift. He's under the second wall, kind of faced through the palace there. He's under the third wall. Can you hit the lab on? Go on. Yeah, there you go, Hunter. Clearing stage two once again. That is his tenth time clearing stage two. He, uh, apparently he banged his knee when he got through the chain reaction. That might have slowed him down a little bit. But it didn't matter. He held he held his own through the rest of the course, phasing through pallets uh, and sucking and blowing up landmines. But it doesn't matter because Hunter will be moving back on to stage three. Joining his friend, Ump Double Ump. Yes, everyone's friends on the show, just in case you didn't know. And with that, we are down to the final competitor on stage two. Can our next competitor clear and give us hope of a third person on stage three? Let's find out. The fourth and final competitor to clear stage one and the second best performer in the last tournament is our new veteran, Alpha Puma. Puma has really begun to come into his own here on Halo Ninja Warrior. He first competed in Tournament 10 where he failed the giant swing, but he did not let that failure get in the way. Puma trained and trained for Tournament 11 with all the determination to complete the stage. And when Tournament 11 came around, he was the first competitor to attempt the stage. And amazingly, he got all the way to the buzzer and advanced himself to Stage 2. 
Then, as the first person to take on the second stage, he got to the metal spin, but just came up short of the dismount. Then, in the next tournament, he reached the metal spin again, but this time he put the obstacle in its place and moved on to the third stage. On stage 3, he had a fantastic performance. He defeated the crazy cliffhanger that eliminated four other competitors in that same tournament, and he reached the most deadly and feared stage 3 obstacle of all, the hang climb. On the hang climb, he got all the way to the fourth rock where he slipped off and fell into the water, but it was amazing to see such unexpected success. Now, with that performance to support him, let's see if Puma can make it back to stage 3. Let's take a look at our first ever Elite on Halo Ninja Warrior. I'm not counting Elite MKB, I mean the actual species, the Elite. Uh, instead of a Spartan, Alpha Puma is onto the chain of reaction. He's taking advantage of that Halo 2 anniversary opportunity to play as a big dinosaur. So let's see how uh, someone. Oh, he's already slipped off the same ladder. But he's recovered. He looks very funky going up this thing. Wow, look at it. He's like, he's trying to give it a hug. Well, he hugged Gotenks in the last turn, but now he's trying to hug the Sam ladder. This guy just can't get enough. Now, oh, he slipped off the Sam ladder again. That's the second slip. But it doesn't matter. He's through the Sam ladder and onto the Spider Walk. Let's see how he's doing right now. He's uh, still got 41 seconds left. Plenty of time for Puma. Puma uh, doesn't like to go slow. So he gets bounced around by the shields a bit. I don't think he cares. He's just in here to clear these obstacles. Look at him go through the swing ladder. He uses only two pulls and he's through. Now onto the balance tank. Could he be the third person to move on to stage three? Could he join up double up a uh, hunter unit? Look at him. He whipped out his energy sword there on the ball. That was, uh, was kind of cool. Now for the wall lift. Oh, he's going to be levitating across. Wow, his his elite is so smooth he doesn't even need to walk anymore. He's, still got, he's going to clear. Yes, Alpha Puma is through stage two. With 7.98 seconds left. Look at him spinning around right at the end there. That's how you do it. He slipped up a couple times on the Sam ladder. Uh, he didn't really let that get in the way. Uh, he had a good technique for the swing ladder. Whipped out his sword on the balance tank. He just seemed really smooth throughout this entire course. Our first ever elite to go on Halo uh, Ninja Warrior. And he's cleared stage 2. So with that, we have three competitors moving on to stage 3. The fastest time went to our Xbox 360 All-Star Hunting Unit 751, and he was followed by Alpha Puma and Ump Double Lump with 3.01 seconds left. And that brings us to the end of Stage 2. After the toughest first stage ever on Halo Ninja Warrior, we still had four competitors reach this second stage, but despite the new game and the tough time limit, three of them are still standing. Ump Double Lump impressed us all this tournament after beating the hardest stage one of all time and attempting Stage 2 for his first time. We will definitely be looking forward to his run in the next episode. Honey Unit 751 was able to maintain his incredible streak of stage 1 clears, and now he will be advancing to stage 3 for his 10th time. We will also be able to see if Hunter can get revenge on the crazy cliffhanger that he failed in the last tournament, and we will also see Alpha Puma, who had an amazing stage 3 run in the last tournament, get another shot at defeating the most brutal and feared stage of all. With these three left standing, anyone can make it to the final stage, and we can keep up hope for seeing our first ever Grand Champion of the Xbox One. In the last tournament, six competitors reached stage three, and the all-star Buddy Jumps managed to clear. This time, Buddy will not be facing off the third stage, but Hunter Unit has cleared this stage in the past, and with Alpha Puma reaching the hang climb in the last tournament, he might be the one who has the best chance of beating this stage. Anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and also make sure that if you want to compete on the show, send a message to Smokey Massacre on Xbox Live. That gamer tag is in the description. I hope to see you all next time when we will finish off the first ever Xbox One tournament, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, I will see you next time on Halo Ninja Warrior.